What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to Get Even. Okay, so the code was 1845. Uh, unfortunately, I have actually already entered the code into the door, but it was 1845. What gave me the hint was a, the... Uh, was it this room or was it the other? I think it was this room. Yeah, the 4 plus 4. It took me about 20 minutes to figure it out. Or, well, maybe not 20 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, but it took me a while to figure it out. So I thought, well, what about if you added the numbers? So obviously with this one, it's just a 1, so you can't add anything to it. But obviously, 4 plus 4 equals 8. And then in this one, it was the 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is 4. Uh, and then in this one, it was the 2, 4, and 5. Did I say 1848 or 1845? 1845. Sorry. <laughs> So that was the code for the door. So now we can get through. Yay! I wonder if... Hmm. That's a good thought, actually. I wonder if that's the same code for... the other doors. I'm not too sure. It may or may not be. We can't get in there, even though the UV light is pointing that way. What is this? It is visiting rules and regulations. If I can actually bring it up. Visiting rules and regulations. Patient is allowed one visit each week from members of his or her family and other approved visitors. Physical contact shall not be allowed. Both visitor and patient shall remain seated during the visit. During all visits, the patient will confine his or her talk to personal matters and refrain from discussing other patients' institutional matches, ma matches? matters or treatment methods. Violation of rules will result in immediate and permanent termination of visiting rule privileges. The best be on your best behavior. Relinquish your earthly vessel and become one with the light. Or oh, how about not? Alright, so... Whoa. Oh, fuck. What now? Don't take this music away! Leave it be! Just leave it be! The party! The party! He's on his way! He's on his way! Ooh, can I... Get around this guy? I wonder if I can without him noticing me. I can't get in that door. It's slipping here, but I'm not sure why exactly. Well, there's a clip. Nothing else in here. I don't think there's. Hmm. I'll get out my gun just in case. I'm not sure if there's any real way to slip by him. No way down there. The only way out seems to be... Hold on, let me bring up my map. Yeah, the only way is that way. But he's a bad guy. I think. Let's approach cautiously. Cautiously. You! You! Mr. Black. Hey, Black indeed. Do you know to every problem with bullets? Why don't you come down here and find out? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, come on, man. He, he had a crowbar. He was likely going to bash my head in. I don't want my head bashed in. Poor dog. And a boombox with some weird... Did I take a picture? No. I'm getting green. Over here. Where am I getting? Show me one green dot. But it stops there. In here? No. Down here? No. All I can hear is someone saying something about a party. Is that coming from the music? I 
think it is. Okay. We'll leave that then. Have we just gone... I don't think we've gone in a circle. But this sure looks familiar. Bring up... The map. Is that that goddamn bunny thing again? What is with the anim what is with the stuffed animals? There's another lock. Alright, let's try 1845 again. Stop wasting your time, Black, and move on. No. Okay, so it's not the same. But for some reason the bunny's there again. What the f fuck is going off? Hey, it's a stupid thingy again. Yeah, the monkey. What the hell is all this stuff? Dude, I wish I knew. There's a TV with... There's another magazine on there, or a clip, whichever. I know, I know there's a difference between a clip and a magazine. I just can't remember which one it is. What is this? Toy therapy patient list. Patient 617, John. Patient 711, 11? <laughs> Patient 711, David. Patient 37, Leonard. Patient 418, sorry, 482, Ben, I think that is. Patient 118, patient 219, patient 344, patient 223. And then we've got spinning top, a robot, a the woman dancer thing. Pick you up. Uh, X-ray of some dude with a bullet in his head. Trainers. This is very weird. Hey, honey, it's me. Pick up if you're there. Okay, well, bad news, I'm afraid. The caterers have cancelled on us. Said they were double booked for the Saturday, so we're going to have to find someone else. You and you getting married would be so much work. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Love you. Mm, I love you too. Yeah, I never want to get married. Screw that. <laughs> Bridal Dream Magazine. The Nouveau Collection, 1992. £2.50! £2.50! Jeez, even for 1992, that is fucking expensive. Like, today, yeah, sure, why not? But for 1992, £2.50 is quite expensive. Like, even that newspaper, even that newspaper before, in like, episode 1 or 2 or whatever, it was like £1.40 odd. That's expensive for a newspaper. What's this? I just wanted to say that I understand if you don't want to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love you. I understand if you don't want to adopt. Some people don't want to. Like, it's horrible not to adopt kids. Even though I, I never want kids myself. Uh, but it's, it's also hard at the same time. 
to sort of love something that isn't yours. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I've kind of been through that myself. Anyway, uh. Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2 p.m. sharp. See them, Mr. Scatterbrain? He's a bloke. He's going to forget. <laughs> That's what us blokes do. We forget. We forget dates. We forget numbers. We forget everything. July 1992. Ooh, my birthday's in July. My birthday's actually in a couple of weeks. <laughs> I hate birthdays. Ugh, horrible things. Alright, a load of paintings. So, one of them was a painter. I'm guessing... Him? Is it supposed to be our wife? Or our fiancé? My darling husband. Okay, then wife. I know this won't be the life we imagined anymore. But I'll be free to focus on my art, and you... Well, <laughs> you'll change the world like you always dreamed you would. And no matter what happens, we will always have each other. All my love. Now and always. The North. <laughs> Lenore? Isn't that a... Wait a minute, isn't Lenore... Oh god, isn't a Lenore a, a, a brand of detergent? <laughs> I think. Lenore. Unless it's spelled a different way. It must be spelled a different way. <laughs> yeah, I think Lenore is a brand of... Uh, Detergent of Sobric fast, fa Fastener? Uh, softener in the UK, I think. I can't remember. Well, here's the bed. Ooh, she's preggers. She's up the duff. What do you think, boy or girl? Who the hell knows? Could be absolutely anything. Oh, Miss the Giddy Cat. That's a cute cat, actually. I love cats. Hey, I tried your office but couldn't get through. Call me if you get this. I've got news. You may want to brace yourself. Love you loads. So this must have been like Cole's actual life? Or maybe a previous life? Honey, are you okay? Talk to me. Are you, are you absolutely sure? I did the test three times. The doctors, they said... I guess we proved them wrong. <laughs> that, that can't be right. It can't be. That means... It means we're not just a couple anymore. It means... We're a family. Why show me this? Is this how you justify everything? Grace, I don't even know what I'm trying to justify. Like, showing you all of this. Find your way back, Mr. Black. Focus on the right photo and, and come back to me. Like, yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm what what what, what even I I'm, I'm trying to prove here. Because you keep telling me that I'm a thief that I'm at fault for what happened. My... Hmm. Unless... Hmm. Because Grace mentioned about us being a thief, and we did steal from ADS, and I did a job for FDR, or was that the other way around? I can't... Uh, whatever. Don't matter. Maybe... Maybe the, the, the woman is the daughter of the CEO or the owner of the rival company. The company who we stole for. Hmm. Hmm. It's a theory. Sounds like a solid theory, but... I guess we'll see in due course. Because that's, that's, that's the only real explanation that I can think of. 
Hello, doggy. Woof, woof. What just happened? What was that? Ah, you're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So there were my memories. What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. How is that irrelevant? How is what has just happened irrelevant? Panda bear. Okay. So, let me get out my phone again. This leads nowhere. Camera. Something in here. What am I? What am I looking at? What am I? You. That could just mean that it's been handled by someone. Let me give you an example. How old are you? 25? Right. Let's imagine tonight you're walking home after work. You see a horse in the middle of the street and you're scared. You start uncontrollably panicking. Your heart is pounding. Your, your hands get sweaty. Mom's you spaghetti. don't understand what's happening to you. And you're an adult, for Christ's sake. Right. You shouldn't be scared of a horse. Now, now, you've no way of knowing what the root of this phobia is, but my therapy will make everything clear for you in an hour, maybe less. Uh, perhaps when you were two or three years old, your brother snuck into your room one night, wearing a horse mask on his head. Perhaps he just uh, stood there staring, watching, breathing, waiting. You woke up and you were terrified. I call it TRT. Toy regression therapy. Yeah. Give patients toys or mementos from their childhood, and the psychoanalytic magic works miracles. What and fucking what now? But you, you, what? <laughs> Imagine you're in a street and there's a horse and you're scared. You'd be scared of a horse in the street. Oh, you son of a bitch. going off. Is he still there as he disappeared? Seems to be someone upstairs. There doesn't seem to be anyone else around. Can't get in that door. Can't get in that door. Many patients in Lindhurst claim they've seen the Puppet Master. Rumour has it that he's been secretly roaming the asylum for decades, somehow controlling all of this, showing us the paths we have to follow. I myself have never seen him, but I dread the day I finally will. E.K. You're having a really good time in that room, aren't you, dude? <laughs> party! The party! Ooh, the party! Ooh. He's enjoying himself. Don't know what you two are all about, though. You are very weird. Okay. 
Why are you pointing that way? Ah. Another bloody closet. <laughs> you enjoying yourself in there? This is just... This is weird. <laughs> what is, what, what? All right. Tom Elliott. Uh, keep under supervision at all times. Patient suffers from anxiety and refuses to give away any personal information other than his name. He mentions many traumatic events from the war, but will occasionally claim he has simply witnessed these events in a film. Frequently repeats the phrase, we all think the same things at the same time. Case information. Dr. Benway's advice, amputate his limbs, amputate his tongue, amputate his past, amputate his will. He became too inconvenient. Okay. The problem I'm having though with this is that I'm not sh sure where exactly is the best way to go. He's here! Oh. Jesus. Fucking wept. Why are you now stood there looking at me like that? You have a new text. I done scared you, lol. Freddy. Wait, Freddy, where the hell did you get a phone from? Can I push you over? No. I'm, I'm going to leave you now. But, bye bye. Is he screaming? Oh, puppet man. But he was screaming, uh, perfect man. Okay, well, that's like an old trope. One to ten. How much did this new treatment help you to discover your inner self? Inner self? I'm no such thing. Please. I just wanted to serve my country. Oh, don't change the subject. I I'll ask again. On a scale of one to ten... You made them cut my fucking arms off! My fucking... We did it to save your life. That landmine... I will end you, motherfucker. Fucker, I will crush your fucking throat! <laughs> How? You have no arms. But you seem to be much less concerned about your past mistakes now, so let's call that a nine, shall we? So to... Wait, what? So to cure him? You've cut off his arms to make him forget about his past? And to concentrate more on the fact that... You cut off his arms. This is just weird as fuck. Our dearest amputees, Tom Elliott, John Doe, Richard Brown, Edward Wines, Robert Collins, Dr. William Benway. Wait, Den Benway was an amputee as well? Another recorder here. Nope. It's a clip. Uh, anything on the phone? Ah, there is. What am I taking a picture of here? DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 912, Tom Elliott. Which is the dude who, uh, his arms amputated. 
I don't particularly want to be shooting these guys, but... I feel like I have no choice. What in I... Closing Lithurst. I mean... It's a sad, sad day for psychiatry. And for people with mental health issues all over the world. I only helped my patients get better. Nothing more. Uh, and there's one thing I just don't understand. Why do the media still criticize my methods? Because they're fucking batshit crazy, that's why. What about my results? Hmm? Not, not one idiot journalist ever asked how many of my patients were cured. Not one. I know why. It's because my patients got better. All of them. Even those who died. Especially those who died. Yes. Because they were no longer subjected to your bullshit. Fucking, um... Methods. That's why they got better. Dude dead down there. He's still screaming about some party. I'm grateful, oh great ones, for allowing me this glorious service not only I have managed to free a handful of souls of their vessels, but I have found new converts to help me spread the light. Soon we will become one in its glory. Any evidence I need to find. Are you still alive or dead? You're dead. This. This, this, this is this is interesting. Down here. Can't get in there. I guess we're going upwards. Isolation ward. Oh, it's you, my savior. I said you wouldn't regret letting me go. This is my art. All my brothers' sacrifices to the puppet master. You killed all those people. Why? No, you. Cannot kill what does not live. They are free, and you will join them soon. Hmm, your dopamine levels have spiked. Are you enjoying this, Mr. Black? Not particularly. In the blue balls. This is something land. So I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't have let him out. The king of the wheelchair tower, Ma Maestro Berry. He's completely lost it. Steer clear of the man, or he says he'll eat your eyes out. Right. Are other people? Ah, oh, Christ. We've got alarm code. Oh. So, we have to decide which one is which. And there are no discernible... No, that, that doesn't... Is there any clues? 
to how we get in there, like sort of what door that is. Look at that. We're on a thermal. He's dead. He's dead, but still warm. Okay, any clues via... Aha! Uh -huh. So it's that one. I think it's that one that we need to... that we need to open. See, there is another note on here. <sighs> Ramsey's Toys. Or Ramsey's Toy. We tested Ramsey's new prototype, and it's still nowhere close to the next big thing we were all hoping for. Five out of six tested reported symptoms of severe VR sickness, mostly headache and or nausea. Also, the so-called memory visualizing has some pretty major glitches. Testers reported that their memory words, worlds were fractured at best and the whole experience was often described as confusing. I think someone needs to address this with Ramsey uh, directly. We wanted to start selling this thing next year, not in the next fucking decade. Please advise Scott. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I didn't notice until I was uh, editing, because I, I I did some bulk recording. Um, I was reading the word, um, uh, oh god, what was it? Advanced Defense Strategy as Advanced Defense Secretary. <laughs> Don't ask where the hell I got the word secretary from when it was right in front of me and the word was strategy. I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, this is getting, like, really fucking interesting now. I'm loving this. This is so good. It's like, it's, it is keeping me on edge. It's, it's, I'm not a, f I'm not, I'm not one for horror games, but it's definitely keeping me on the edge. But it's so good. I'm enjoying this. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you all so very much for watching this episode, and I shall see you all next time as ever. Bye-bye.